This video contains spoilers for the Dragon Ball Super manga. If you do not want to be spoiled, please leave now. This has been your warning. I will give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to begin now. Hello guys, the One Piece Nation here today with a Dragon Ball discussion video discussing the news brought to us uh, from the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 7 today, and I am joined by... Real to real, guys. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. No problem. But I think we could start off with, like, I think we could also obviously talk about what the news was, mainly. Yeah. And it yeah. was mainly that we got information on the fighters that were there. You know, mm -hmm. like, on Sir Chain Champa and... There's something else, I'll say that, but what did you think of them? The the fighters? Yeah. Oh, I... First of all, like, the only thing that we actually really have of them is their designs, and I have to say, I'm blown away by their designs. I am so happy to look and see what I'm seeing. These guys kind of look a little bit ruthless in a certain way, and I just can't wait to see how they fight. It's just a grab bag of a team, even more so than uh, Universe 7. Universe 7 is kind of straightforward, in my opinion, but these guys are... Freaking amazing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, something I noticed was that if you really look at some of the characters, like if you look at, uh, it's almost all of them, they really look Toriyama. Like, they look like something Toriyama would draw. They don't look like something Totaru drew. Or something, I don't know, like, Toei did. They look like Toriyama drew them, which I like. Exactly. It's great. It, it's just, it's so nice to look at these guys and be like, yeah, they look they look fantastic, almost like I can, I want to play these guys in Xenoverse. And so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one of the other problem with it be like the one that looks like Ultimate Gohan. I, it looks like a weird combination of like Videl, Tarvolt, and Ultimate Gohan. Dude, I love that guy. I, I don't like, it's hard to say if he's a Saiyan right now. I mean, just based off the last chapter, I would say he is. I think a lot of people would. Yeah. But I think Ryan Saw pointed out, you know, the guy doesn't have a tail. Not that that's a, but then again, I saw, I saw, I read, I looked up some of the chapters. Uh huh. And he, he, Ron Stalati pointed out on Twitter that apparently these Saiyans don't have tails. Really? I mean, because it's, it's very easy to assume he is a Saiyan. Did Chompa did say he was going to get Saiyan? Yeah, exactly. And, and there's no one else on this team that could even remotely be a Saiyan. Yeah, I mean. One of them, like, not even sure what it is. Like, I guess that could be, like, a robot. I, I think it's a robot. It, you know, I'm, I'm actually in the process of making my, my own video on this, but I guess I'll share it here. Like, I looking at these guys right now and just kind of feeling out, like, what Super's been thus far with uh, the Battle of God's Ark and the Fikatsu no F Ark, there's really not much you know, huge stakes that come with this series thus far. And I honestly don't think going into the Universe 6 tournament that there's going to be a whole lot of stakes going forward. So I'm looking at these characters right now, and I just happen to think, like, my prediction is these guys are just going to be straight-up callbacks to the original series, like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. With, yeah. this ro with this robot guy, you know, he looks like a direct callback from the early days of Dragon Ball. You know, the Pilaf gang or the Red Ribbon Army, or something like that, uh, kind of going to the, the young Saiyan and the Frieza-looking guy, I think that, like, those guys would be a great callback to the Goku versus Piccolo Jr. in the latter stages of Dragon Ball. Yeah. And then the last two are just basically Cell and Boo and calling, like, recalling that type of stuff. I think that's what well, we're going to I actually think the uh, guy in the very front, like, the guy that the, when you see the closest to his face, Mm -hmm. I think, the purple one, I think he looks a little bit like Togoma and Mira. Or oh, not, he does. Fit, like, fused together, you know what I mean? Yeah, he does. Like, that would be that would be cool, too. I think I would totally love to see that even more than my own prediction. I'm just saying, in terms of what I've seen from the series thus far, doesn't give me any real indication that this is going to be, like... Uh, a theory of, like, Cell trying to blow up the Earth kind of thing. Yeah, this isn't someone just kind of seeing, like, oh, I want to be the most powerful, I want to kill everyone around me, type of thing. This is going to be nothing more than just it. Dragon Ball Super at this point is a victory lap to everything Dragon Ball. Kind of like, um, 
Goku, it would probably be more like Goku's tournament when he was a kid at the Tenkaichi Budokai. Exactly. And I, and I, and like, I fun, to... like, serious, like, everybody obviously wants to win the fight in, like, very serious tone, but, you know, it won't also, it won't be, like, the world is in danger level serious. Yeah. And, I, and you know what? I think a lot of people might have a problem with that, but I can't wait to see it. I mean, these guys look awesome. They look strong. They look like they will be funny. Like, it, yeah, the concept yeah. will be very funny going forward. It's not going to be serious. Especially if you just compare the designs of the characters. Compare by, like, the these fighters to these guys. Like, they look so much more serious, like, <laughs> fighters, you know what I mean, with their bodies yeah. and stuff. So mm-hmm. they probably look at these guys and you're like, these guys <laughs> look so weak. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Piccolo yeah. looks more intimidating than all of them combined. <laughs> yeah, well, this, I mean, I guess, like, we should move on to this uh, new fighter. The f- mysterious fifth fighter has finally been announced, or yeah. revealed... If you saw it, you see his full body. The, the, the <laughs> yeah. it, it got, he, he, he's got them bat nipples going on. Yeah, I mean, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, I, you know... I don't exactly know what Funimation will do with that when it, they went to Berg Relation in America. Oh, <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll keep They have to keep it. I mean, this series is just so... And, you know, they definitely can't do a, do a TV release with that, though. Exactly. It, we'll have to find a way and then censor that out so they do a, like, a televised release, which is fine. It makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you, what do you think of him, though? I mean... I mean, he, just, he has to have transformations. He has to. You think? Yeah, because if you, I don't... If you think about the way some of these characters fight, like, look at Boo. Boo didn't really have any major fights in his fat Boo form, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, I can imagine it being very hard to animate or draw a fight between a, a, a character like with Goku build and a character like Boo that was really fat. It must have been very difficult. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, this guy, I, I, I agree. Like, if this guy has extra forms and stuff, that would be totally Dragon Ball. I really kind of want him to. I'm not liking it. I, I mean, in terms of, like, what you said earlier, this guy is definitely Toriyama, and that's what makes him so funny to look at and so awesome to look at, but in terms of a fighter, I kind of wanted something a little bit more serious. Like, I think a lot of people did. Oh, God. Okay, well, I just would give this some information, Lily, while we were recording this. Yeah. So I'd like to switch over to and just say, it's not the fan on the, on Chopper team, it's not Broly's son. I don't know where the hell <laughs> this rumor started. This, this thing rumor the whole time knew crazy, but yeah, somebody thinks it's uh, Broly's kid. Can we stop? I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely serious. Can we just stop with all these rumors about Broly, Bardock, yes. and something? Just Can we just... They don't exist in this universe. It makes no sense. Well, because, Bardock and DNA technically do. I mean, no, they don't. I, I mean, I mean, not not to the point that we know them. I mean, we wouldn't would we even recognize them? We don't know. No, but they, but you know, they could. They, I think Bar at least with Bardock and Gina and DNA, DNA, however you want to pronounce it, if they came back, it wouldn't be a situation where you're just like holding your brain like <laughs> you're not canon. That they weren't in the manga. That doesn't make sense. Exactly. Toriyama you know, did draw a manga with Gine, and Bardock was in one panel of the manga, so it does make some sense. I mean, okay, in terms of, I will say this, in terms of thinking that this is Bro- Broly's son or something, if you are dead set on believing that, then just go right ahead. I don't think, you, as long as you realize that that's not true, and that's your own headcanon, then that's absolutely fine to me. Yeah, and I'm not going to go around spreading it, like, to yeah. other people. Oh, this, this guy Broly's son, and Broly gonna come back as a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan <laughs> Rainbow Kai God. <laughs> Super, I mean, Sa- Super Saiyan Two God is like green, so you have Super Saiyan Green, and that's what Broly was, and that's why they couldn't fight him because he was oh, so powerful. The I thing mean, is, is, the thing is, is yeah, if, if that's what you believe, then that's what you believe. But don't sprout, don't spout it as true. Just be, spout it as like, hey. This is kind of an alternative way to look at it, and if you want to look at it, that's fine, but it's not true. <laughs> that is very true, it isn't. Uh, but one thing I did really notice when I was looking at this was, was if that really is a robot, what is it made of? <laughs> Vibranium. Like, is that, is that, is even that enough? Like, what could possibly, 
could is there any metal that I can, can you can think of that is that could, could in any way be even insisted made out to be strong enough to survive even well, a special being cannon? Well, I don't think so. Well, okay, but we gotta think about it. I I can't remember what was the what was the one they broke the Z sword on. Uh oh, I, I don't remember either. But yeah, but like that, you know, that sword, that sword, or that metal would do some damage. You couldn't pu- just simply punch really hard into that well, metal. Well, remember like, that would go like, on prior to you know getting his yeah, like, I, in love. That was a very weak Gohan. We're talking about staying beyond God. I'm, Goku I'm, just saying, I'm saying, like, you know, even that's even everything put into that. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure if that's what that guy's made out of, then he's fine. <laughs> so, also, you need to consider there were characters like 15 who took a good amount of damage before they were destroyed. Anyway, I, I think the one thing I do want to say before we get, like, way too far into this, I want people to... Am I the only one? I think you and I talked about this. We are the only ones who are super excited excited to see Bulma back in action and actually yeah. going off and exploring by herself, even with with John. I would have liked it even more. Goku had been there. That would have made it perfect. Like Goku, oh, yeah. you know, I'm gonna get a little bit of hate. People are well, not hate, but people are gonna make jokes about it. I would have loved. You know, if they have a Super Dragon Ball arc, like where they need to go and find the Super Dragon Ball, the well, team will. absolutely has to be Goku, Bulma, Yamcha, Krillin. <laughs> it has to. Be. No, it has you to can be. you can put Krillin in there. I mean, Krillin's been kind no, of. No, but useful. that would be the original team from the Hunter of the Dragon Ball arc in season in the first arc of the series to end it out. I know, I I know what you're saying, but at this point, those those last those last three, it's besides Oolong who got his. Rock, paper, scissors moment. They just been so, the last like Young Chun and Puar have just been so useless in everything Dragon Ball. I mean, honestly, in terms of like the last and, and I think this has been kind of confirmed by Toriyama. It could be wrong, please don't please don't say you know, please don't be mad at me. But yeah, it's like don't quote me. And uh they're gonna have the tournament. It's like the, the universe six arc would be kind of cut into two. They're going to have the tournament, yeah. and then they're going to go looking for the last Super Dragon Ball. So it will be a hunt for the Dragon Balls. And I actually would love to see Goku, Vegeta, or even Vegeta, oh, Goku, Vegeta, Bulma, Goten, and Trunks, and I think that's it. Like, and Jocko. Jocko yeah. definitely needs to be there. Like, yeah, yeah. I honestly know. I went I went tight to be there, too. I want that. Oh, I would love to see Tyson. Yeah, I don't know if you know, I think it was, I don't remember who it was. I think it was, it was one of the bigger YouTubers, like, I think it was Geekdom. Mm-hmm. You know, Geekdom who said this. Tyson appears to have become very advanced technologically, and imagine two, imagine, like, a, seeing Bulma have a technological rival. Oh, yeah. But How that epic great. that would be. Like, oh. imagine, like, an entire, like, an arc of them on a ship. And they're just like seeing who can fit the shit quickest. And that's <laughs> awesome. Exactly. You know, like, and and, and I want to I want to bring up something that I saw that I want to bring up something that I saw that you posted on Twitter uh, with a very rough translation of the Korean that we yeah. see here. With uh, apparently, Gohan is at a conference. Which is that, so stupid. <laughs> and that annoys that that annoyed Goku. Uh, but I, I just want I just want to bring this up because this is my theory. Why is it that the the Toriyama manga itself, because we're not this far in Dragon Ball Super yet, yeah. but the Toriyama manga is trying so desperately hard to keep Gohan away from the action, not even yeah. like can't even show him. And I've been saying this for months, ever since like early October, like super early, like the beginning of October, even before that, the September, like Gohan should die in Super. Yeah, that would take that would take. Everything away that would explain exactly why they can't bring him back because the Dragon Balls have already already been used to revive Frieza. Like obviously this tournament's going to happen like right after the Frieza. And they'd be too busy to revive him. Well, they would have to be waiting, so it would make sense. I mean, it just seems to me that like the Toriyama manga cannot do that. It skipped the it it skipped the Picasso no F arc. It because well, it already did. I don't like it. Really skip maybe because he already wrote it. Well, that's my point. He skipped it because he already wrote it for the movie, but he can't necessarily change the things that happen. Like he can't necessarily go back if he's going to skip it and say, "Oh yeah, well, uh, we already wrote it." But yeah, you know, like uh, Togoma was there and Ginyu was there and everything. It is what it is. 
it is what it is in the movie, and Gohan didn't die in the movie, so that's what it is in the manga. But in, this, in the anime, if they're, they're gonna die. do this, if they're gonna do this, and they're gonna leave Gohan out, when they bring Pan, they bring freaking Pan, they bring Hercule, they bring Pan, like they bring Pan, Hercule, the and off the gang is there. How but, did they even get there? Yeah, I mean, like, who? I don't think how, and I don't think Goku and all of them were like, hey, come along, peel off the gang. They think about it, the trunks that my thing didn't happen in the in the super manga or anime. It's like it's like someone. So they had no reason to bring them. They they okay. It's like everyone else is there besides Gohan. It, what, goes, is it? what is it? What is that? Like people. what is it that like Toriyama is just like oh yeah. By the way, Gohan's gonna die before they like they kill Frieza. He's gonna die off completely, so he can't be in the manga because that would kind of ruin the continuity of the thing. So that I have to like kind of write around that. And it definitely seems to me, in terms of writing, that they're writing around something that happened to Gohan just to kind of keep him out of the action. Because this is kind of starting to piss me off. Like, he is not someone who would just sit around and fight. Like, wait, go to a conference and let his wife and his newborn daughter just sit around and go to an other world tournament where serious, dangerous people are going to be fighting. This is so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I Sorry. agree. I agree. I think the major problem also is that it, especially in Super, in the, at least in the anime, he is blabbing and blabbing about I need to protect my family. Mm-hmm. It's like, how the hell are you going to protect your family if you're not even there? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, it would make sense if Videl wasn't there, but Videl is here. Videl is there, and it's like, what is going on? What, what is... What is going on with Gohan? And my my and also don't that doesn't Gohan seem the kind of character that would be like you know what I'm not going to fight but my dad I like my dad I want to be there and see my dad fight because that's the right thing that's the right thing to do for yeah. family it's not even about Gohan it's fighting it's about Gohan as a character I don't think it's being like no we're watching my dad fight I'm gonna go to this conference. He doesn't need to be there. He doesn't need to be a scholar to make a living for the love of God. I mean, I mean he could go God. to a tournament and one shot everybody there and make millions in a year. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for, for, for goodness' sake, Chaozu is there. Tien's there. Yangcha's probably there. I don't see him right now, but he's probably. I think, there. I think it's Totaro probably. <laughs> if if for if, if what I've heard about Totaro and you're doing the AF thing is true. Which, I don't know, but if that is true, maybe he he with the fans on it. Nobody cares about Yamcha, so he's just leaving Yamcha no, out. No, Yamcha, I'm looking at it right now. Yamcha's there. Yamcha, Puar. Are you yeah, Yamcha, Puar, the Ox King, Krillin, Marin, 18, Tien, Boo, uh, Dende's there. Like, the Brief family's all there, besides the type I see. It's not really yeah. there, I don't think. I think Roshi's there. Like, everyone is there besides Gohan. What the hell is this? Like... I don't know. That did really bother me about the whole thing. But one thing I noticed especially that bothered me was that the Saiyan does look like... If you look at the Saiyan's gi, it looks like Ultimate Gohan. The gi? Like the, the, the new it, Saiyan? Yeah, look at it. It kind of looks like Goku's top of it. it. You know what it looks like? It looks like uh Like a redesign, you know what I mean? No. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like... uh. Meta, Meta Therese or whatever uh, armor, the one that he came back to Earth with, what was that? Uh, the fusion people. Oh, the Metamorian. They're Metamorian, like, yeah. The, jacket, Metamor- you mean the, the jacket they have? It, it kind of looks like that. Like, I wouldn't say it looks like Ultimate Gohan. No, but if you look at the top, it kind of has like the same like overlap and then like mm-hmm. a blue sleeve. It has that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like something you would see Goku wearing at some point in Z. Yeah, I mean... With, Go- with Gohan's hair, I'm like... This it, it, guy, Gohan should have been came and fought that guy. It would have been so cool. What? So what is a uh, what is what about uh the, one of the last things we haven't talked about and we've been blabbing for a while now? But these new Kai's, I mean, do these guys strike you in any way? Do you think these guys are going to be important? I think no. they're just. I think they're just there to be like, oh look, Universe Six has gods of creation, and they look uh, different. Which makes perfect sense because <laughs> King Kai said it in Battle of God. To have creation, you need destruction. To have destruction, you need creation. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I just, you know, but I, I will say, I think a lot of Dragon Ball Super fans feel this way. You know, the last couple of episodes of Dragon Ball Super have been 
really kind of pissing off a lot of people in the community. I've seen a lot of the comments. I've been a part of them. I, this, it, this it, had, it had to be there again. I mean, I, I think my first, no, but I've only done like three or four rants since I started my channel, but in the beginning of August. Uh huh. Episode 20, 19 or, episode 20 with my second rant. Mm hmm. It's not, it was the only time ever where I ranted out anything Dragon Ball. Mm hmm. I've ranted the four and a half that ever, kind of ever ranted on YouTube with episode 20, and that's because the whole time I, I actually considered stopping the episode, going to Red Direction of F, and just hitting play. <laughs> I was like, because I can see all of this in better animation. Exactly. And you know, I, and you know, that, it, the last couple of episodes, last few weeks have been a, it's kind of made it a little tough to be a Dragon Ball fan. But I will tell you this, you know, every time one of these manga chapters yes. and everything, you just get so excited for what's coming. Because even if, even if it's not as dark as Dragon Ball Z, or even if it's not as fun or adventurous as Dragon Ball ever was, just seeing Toriyama have fun redesigning, make, designing these new characters, kind of, Building this universe that he created is just so much fun. Yeah, I agree. Just, the one thing that really bothered me, and this bothered me um, uh, tremendously, was the fact that people are complaining about the character when I'm just like, thank God we got them. They mm -hmm. didn't get these character designs. This, all this brawly, evil Goku, Barda. Stuff would have continued, and he would get it out of control. Uh -huh. It's like it's actually kind of a good thing that we got this. Yeah, I mean the the one thing, and I and I and I keep saying, I'll say this, I'll keep saying it. The one thing I'm only mad about if this if this kid is a Saiyan, I wish it was a female. Like I wanted a I wanted a, a woman Saiyan to be strong. Uh, and be appearing at least. Well, and I, don't, I would that's say, just... technically, as far as we are aware, the strongest character of the whole series right now is female. Oh, uh, yeah, Vados. Do you remember Vados did say last time her and Whis fought G1? And uh -huh. Whis is undoubtedly, prior to that statement, the strongest character. Exactly. And, but, you know. What are the chances so... of seeing. But she hasn't seen Waste Fighter Slim. But she hasn't seen Vado Fighter like zero. Yeah, but and I mean, Waste and Vado fight. But knowing that is kind of nice, you know, knowing that they they are the strongest and whatnot. Yeah. And I think one of the, the last person we haven't talked about is uh, Zuno. Zuno, yeah, I don't think I do. I saw them. I I don't really remember too much from a translation. But I do remember there was something she had, she said, there was like a system she had, but kind of like with Baba, like you needed to give her thing. It's it's a kiss on the cheek. No, I think it's like get, like you need to reward her, and I think that she wanted a kick from, he wanted a kick from Bulma. He wants a kiss on the cheek from Bulma, and he gets three, she gets three questions answered. And I think they like really, I think he messes up and wastes like one of them. Something like that. I, I think they say one of them she was, waste, she said like wait. So if I kiss you, I get th so now that I kiss you, I get three questions. And he was like, question one, you. <laughs> it was like kind of like a genie in the bottle type thing. Like he would like kind of twist the words around. Yeah, but you know, I'm I'm not really sure about this guy, but you know, I I I need to point this out. I can remember in the manga chapter, how would Vegeta in the time chamber? I just want to talk about that quickly. That didn't make sense. Well, I think it. He already spent two days in there. But it's not, is this really the time chamber, or is it not, um, or is it just kind of like the different time chamber that we sent them into that's covered in God Key? It, I mean, I, the, I, didn't they leave Weiss when it's in transmission and go back to Earth? Well, I don't know, like, they were still on, I don't, they were still on it, you know? True, I, mean, I don't know, I, but I'm, I'm assuming it's Weiss's it dimension, now that I think about it, because it, it, it has to be. It has to be. It, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be because it's a Dragon Ball. It'll pop up. Not surprise me. Yeah, agreed. But yeah, I, I kind of feel like it has to be that. And and maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Uh, you know, how else are they in? And the then the type of all time chamber, the room in, or the room in theory of time or whatever, had always been very confusing. Yeah. Well, yeah, it has been. But and also, then there are like, like I've always one of my things that always been 
how did it work for Trunk? Like, can Trunk go back in and in his time? Like, how did this room, it was never really explained how it worked. Well, Trunks never went into it. Like, I think it was implied and not necessarily shown or stated, but kind of implied at least to me that they didn't go into it because the androids destroyed it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, it wouldn't work, though. I mean... It wouldn't Like, there were so many things unknown about the time chamber, really. Yeah, it is. But the thing, like, I agree with the two-day rule. Uh, if this is the one that we, we saw in Dragon Ball Z then definitely doesn't make sense. Also because, I mean, Piccolo destroyed that door. I, I guess they're strong enough to rip the hole back and, like, kind of just also, go in and out as they want. Also, I would just like to point out that uh, that door could... It, it is the door connected to the lookout. Yeah. So maybe when they were... St- I'm mean, going to... I, you could assume that when they were stored Earth with the Dragon Ball, then the lookout would be stored. The door would be stored. And that's very possible. You know what? I, I had never thought of that. That's actually that's actually interesting. Uh, but you know what? You know what? It kind of has to be the. It does kind of have to be it because it, it does show a little side thing of uh, the lookout. You're right. So yeah, it has to be it. Yeah, you're right. With the you know, with you know, it doesn't make sense. But is it one of those things where you're kind of you blow it off like whatever? Hey, you just you're just gonna have to blow it off. It yeah, makes no sense. I do want to bring up one last thing before we end this out, and who will fight who? Ooh. Uh, all right. You know, based on the design, like, we had no information. All right, uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to go? Do you have any opinions? Yeah, well, or... First, I'd like to point out, the fight, uh, this, this is a fight I would want to see. It's not going to happen, but I did want to see Goku versus, uh, the, you know, Beer, the strongest fighter Beer has ever fought, the mystery fighter whose name I cannot remember. Uh-huh. But I would like to see that, but obviously they're on the same team. But I feel that Goku is probably going to fight, like, the purple guy that looks like a fusion of, like, Mira and, like, Tagoma. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, I feel like they're probably going to fight in the order they're rode up. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, per- possibly. I, I kind of feel like the robot guy's the weakest. And and I kind of feel like Piccolo will probably fight him. I, I kind of feel like the robot guy's the weakest. I do think Piccolo might fight him, or Boo. I, I kind of feel like Piccolo's going to fight the bear guy. Uh, I feel like wrong. I feel like there's just there's something about that fight that I feel like this would be interesting. Like I feel like that bear guy would be in, would just really annoyed Piccolo for some reason. I, well, the thing is, the thing about the robot guys, I do think he's the weakest, but I do think that that's part of like Toriyama's kind of gag he always likes to play is you know he's the guy that like everyone's gonna look at and be like oh that guy sucks, but you know in the in the lineup he's in the back just like in the lineup this mysterious fighters in the back and Toriyama had done that before you remember with Whis in Battle of God it was uh-huh. it was Goku it was like Goku and Beerus at the very top and then uh-huh. it was just Whis like small in the background and insignificant looking like he would like the entire movie he would written to be this weak attendant mm-hmm. there were like yeah. there were hints of it subtle subliminally but not really well, that's my point. Like, that's my point. Like, is this? You look at this robot guy. Is he going to be the strong guy? Is he going to be the weak one? And it, it's well, really hard to say. I don't think a robot could be like that strong. I mean, maybe he's not a robot. Maybe he's someone in a robot. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's probably around. I think at most he's like a boo level, like super boo level. I would really love for Boo to fight him. I actually. Okay, so here's my here's my prediction before we get way too far into this. Boo's going to fight the robot. Piccolo's gonna fight the bear. Uh, Vegeta's gonna fight the other Saiyan because that works out perfectly. Or or the Frieza guy, but I don't think so. No, I, I think he'll fight the Frieza guy in the chapter. I think he thought. I think he even said, "Is that Frieza?" Uh huh. He, he does. No, Vegeta says, "Is that Frieza?" I okay. So Vegeta's gonna fight the Frieza guy. Goku's gonna fight the Saiyan, and this mysterious guy's gonna fight the purple dude and yeah, then lose exactly. and then lose. Lose and then Goku's gonna have to fight him. Or, or they could have like literally everyone's been saying they could be working with their way up to the fusion thing, <laughs> and Goku and Vegeta are gonna have to fuse to beat the purple guy. Oh, I maybe that's a huge maybe, but it's very possible. <laughs> anyway, and the only problem I see with that before we go out, I want to point out the one problem I see with that is is it a tournament? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know, and this, this, is, this isn't a Tenkaichi Budokai. Like, uh, and that, they don't have any knowledge of what's going on. 
Well, we haven't... Okay, well... No, I so they would probably look at these people like... They'd probably be like, okay, you want a minute to form a mask? Okay, no big deal. Then they would do the dance, see you, and then he'd be like, wait, now they're one person? Okay, well, I guess we, like, there, we don't have any rules about that, so we kind of have to let it fight. But well, instead, they may be like, oh, no fusion. Like, no, because that's not legal. That's outside help. Like, they understand the technique. Well, maybe. we. I haven't seen the full translation yet, neither do you. Yeah. I mean, official, but uh, who knows? I, I think the one thing I, I will say about all of this is it is possible that somebody will die, most likely, than this guy kind of just, like, builds a fence. Uh, Probably. It, you know, I'm not saying it's true I mean, not. It, 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 in fact, look at, look at uh, the one thing, I just noticed this, look at the guy's hair. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's saying it looks like future Gohan. You know who that guy, that Saiyan looks like? He looks like, uh, he looks like Gogeta. That's oh my god, guy. you're kind of right. I mean, like, the one thing they've always pointed about Gogeta is if you cut him down the middle, he's both Goku and Go, I and mean, he's both Goku and Vegeta. Sure, if that's actually one of his, like, catch for like, all the video games, I am neither Goku or Vegeta, I am Gogeta. Yeah, but you cut you cut his face down the middle. He has Vegeta's widow's peak, and he has Goku's like Super Saiyan haircut. True. So anyway, uh, you know, you, you have that. You kill off one of them, and then they fuse. This could be like a, and this has kind of felt like to me at least a very uh, dark tournament Yu Yu Hakusho thing. So they might be able to, they might be allowed to substitute if one of their person people die, and a fusion could actually. Yeah, I, yeah, my thing is, would a few would fusion be allowed? Because, you know, they, they, because people would know what they're up to in advance. They could just be like, nope, don't do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, agreed. But I think, I think that that's a really Kind of like how Frieza, like, you know, Frieza was aware of Binyardra's in, instantaneous movement. Like, he was aware of that. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, and it's, it's one of these things where. And like, we are now. It's like, if the, the rules are the same in the Tenkaichi Budokai. So I'm assuming it'll be fine. Well, we'll see. We, we'll, we're just going to have to yeah. see. But but until then, I think, yeah. like, you and I can safely agree. I just thought of how the Gohan could be useful. I just thought of it. Ah. So, this is this is genius, actually. King Kai can maybe all the... You know, I don't know if he can do this, but maybe if he can throw it in another dimension, like in, like, a limbo. But uh-huh. maybe King Kai could help him, Gohan, tell Boo the answer to the test. <laughs> He could, like, transcend oh. Gohan, and he could, then Blue could be, like, and Gohan, and he, King Kai could, like, tell Gohan what it says, and he could be like, Boo, write this, write this, circle this. You know what I mean? I think, honestly, like, one of the... Yeah, yeah Gohan's only used at this point, but he's on Earth, that's all he could do. Well, I think expert games, and, and this might actually be something that they've already done, but they haven't showed us yet, just kind of like a fake-out, but I think expert games was talking about, like, uh, uh what happens if, like, you remember in uh, Dragon Ball GT, if you ever watched that, where... I Boo, watched it. I regretted it. <laughs> Boo absorbs uh, Hercule, and Hercule talks to him. Oh, but I he's just that. like, but what if, what if Gohan's in Boo, so he can, like... <laughs> Gohan's just, like, chilling out in Boo's, like, body, so he can cheat on the test. I guess that's possible, and maybe that what Maybe he told Goku he was at a conference because Goku would be, wouldn't allow that. Yeah, like somebody would, like... Think Goku would be, like, cheating? We can't. I don't got a mind to go I mean, and cheat. I mean, in fact, in fact, that you makes want a me whole boy? That makes a whole lot of sense because, like, that makes a whole lot of sense because, yeah, like Goku, Goku and Vegeta probably might not allow that, but definitely, like, definitely, Videl, Gohan, and Mister Satan would actually kind of set that up. I don't know about Videl, honestly. I don't know if Videl would go for that. <laughs> Well, maybe. I mean, we'll, we'll I mean, then again, I have been playing on eventually doing a video about the, the Dell character kind of being retconned post Boot Naga. Mm-hmm. No, but you like, you just think about it for a minute. Like <laughs> in the boot prior to the Boot Naga being ended, that like up until she fought both of it, uh-huh. she was like very confident. And, like she was like uh, like any of the other fighters. After that, no, completely different character. Well, I mean, in that in that sense, we're just gonna have to talk about that later because I have some thoughts on that. But that's no, yeah, I know. I just know. I think like Vidal, like they really depend. I do think Vidal now would probably agree, but that all really depends on what Vidal you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So yeah. anyway, just yeah. to recap, uh, awesome that the awesome that the uh, Bulma's actually in the venture together. Hopefully, when they do it, definitely awesome. Yeah. Hopefully, when they do something like. Uh, the, the search for the Super Dragon Ball, she's definitely part of that gang. 
Uh, how on earth are they in the hyperbolic time chamber? That makes no sense other than... Well, Goku would die. Be. Goku only went in for a day. Like, yeah, exactly. But how does that make any sense other than like when they wish back back Earth on Blue? Are they there? Uh, why the hell is the Gohan there? We have some situations about that. And uh, uh, new Kais are kind of useless other than showing that they're new Kais. Well, the Kais have been useless since day one. <laughs> <laughs> and those, the new fighters are awesome in that way. They excite me. I think they excite you. Yeah, they just excite me, and also, they also put an end <laughs> to all rumors about who the serious fighter is going to be. Exactly. And Yay! <laughs> I don't need to hear that how it's going to be Broly anymore. Well, we'll still hear that. True. No, no, now we're hearing that the guy, Gohan, is Broly's son. Exactly. Yeah, which is a whole other level of stupid, but whatever. Anyway, I think I think we need to wrap this up. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe for more videos. And check out Real to Real's channel. The link is in the description box down below. Have a great day, guys. See ya.